Hey guys, I am about to start a level biology videos and the first thing I do when I'm about to start videos is I have a look at the textbook. So I did that. I went and bought a load of textbooks and we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna tell you what I think of them. So I have beautiful notebooks for making notes in. I've got oh, these are so heavy. I've got the full textbook from Oxford, I've got the year one and the year textbooks of Tom Hodder, and then I've got the full textbooks from CGB. Beautiful IOD notebook with this picture down the side, loving it, I had to get this one because it virtually matches my hair. First of all, let's look at the price of them. The CGP one is coming in at £27-28, the Oxford one is coming in at £36, and these two are coming at £26 each. I couldn't find like a one big textbook for these two, so you have to buy two, which makes it over £50 to buy the full set. The Oxford and the Hodder ones have this up here. Now this is a little badge, but it is an important badge. AQA approved. That means somebody at the exam board has looked at the textbook, they read the textbook, and they said yes or no. CGP doesn't have that. When an exam board looks at a textbook and says yes or no, they say yep, that's the sort of thing we would ask, yes, that's in the exam questions, or no, that's not the sort of style we would use, or no, that's not the sort of thing you should put in the textbook. So two or two sets of those textbooks, three of those books have, but this one hasn't. This textbook does not have very many questions in it. For the whole of year 12, the whole of first year content, there are 18 pages of questions. Which sounds like a lot if you're going to do them all at once, but 18 pages, that, that's actually not a lot of revision questions. Obviously they do workbooks to go along with that, but that's increasing the amount of money you have to spend out. This book's textbook has 28 pages of questions. These are longer questions, much more in the style of the exam, and at the back they have a section on exam preparation. So we're getting better. And this textbook is the winner with nearly 40 pages of questions just for the first year alone. And these questions are questions that have come from AQA. So they've gone through, they've trawled back through all of the previous specification papers, picked out the relevant questions, changed them to, to fit the new specification and put them in here. So these questions, 40 page questions, written by AQA. In the CGP book, at the end of each section, there is a section summary, a list of things you should know. The Hodder books don't have a summary at the end of each section, whereas the AQA books have a really nice mind map clearly laid out, not so confusing, and links to all of the sections where you can go and find out more information about that bit. The CGP book has the answers to the questions in the back. The Hodder books do not have the answers to the questions in the back, and the Oxford books do have the answers to the questions in the back with really, really detailed mark scheme. If you want to go by page number, although that's not necessarily a very good example of how good a textbook is, they're all roughly the same, although the Oxford here is slightly larger and does have all the colour coded sections. The CGP book, while it may seem has the same number of pages, it is smaller than the other one. So my favourite textbook out of all of these is this one. It's not the most expensive, you only need to buy one of them, but even though you're paying more than the CGP textbook, you do get loads, loads more questions, much better diagrams, um, loads of really, really detailed answers in the back, and just really a textbook. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs> 